what does a good work shadowing look like? Well, I think to answer that question, you really have to think about it from both perspectives, that of the, um, shall I call them the shadowy, and that of the employer. Um, from the employer's perspective, I think it's about, I mean, I'm, I'm really busy, of course I am, you know, that's what I love, every day is different. Um, but, you know, you need to think ahead and plan the week so that there's enough interesting uh, activities happening for the shadowy. I think the key thing is that they come with a, a real attitude to want to learn and also that they, um, you know, that they're really interested in, in what, you, you know, what you're going to do with them that week. Uh, I think that's the key thing, that they don't come just uh, as a tick box, as something that's good to go onto the CV. I think, of course, apart from you know your health and safety stuff, I think it's really important to, to, to think practically about the week. Uh, there are a bunch of things that you maybe have to do in the week that it's not appropriate for someone to be shadowing you. So um, I sat down with the team the week before and, and had a look and seen what we had on so that we could plan the week where um, they were getting experiences of, of lots of different things. So um, they got involved in, in brainstorming new ideas, they were involved in, you know, like uh, seeing a client pitch. They were, you know, get involved in hearing and market research brief and, you know, and other sort of internal meetings that we had where we were sharing ideas. As we had a little mini project running um, throughout the week, so in the moments where I had to go away and do something else, um, then the, you know, the person that was shadowing had a project to work on. Um, we made that very relevant to, they were a business and a marketing student, so we were just about to launch a new product into the UK, so we asked her to do a competitor analysis for us which was great because she was learning as well, being able to apply her theory um, in a real practical way, in a real life example. I think it's really important that you bring um, the theoretical knowledge to life with practical examples. Uh, so, so as well as you know the project that you know that was running throughout the week, we also um, helped to put things in context. All you know, so taking time out to explain why we were doing certain things, and then potentially connecting it back to some of the the theoretical knowledge that they gained and and they when they've been studying. And it was really interesting at the end of the week that uh, you know our student had said that she learned more in one week of being with us about how a business really run than she had at two years at college. Top tips, I think have a mini project running through the week that's something that A, that they can do when, when there's times where you can't be with them, but equally make it really relevant to the course that they're, they're on. Second tip would be involve your team or those around you because then they can, you can deepen the learning experience. They can you know, get a lot of, lot of different perspectives and a range of different experiences. Third tip, well, don't look at this as a one-way street, uh, that, that you're going to be the only person doing the, co the com uh, conversing. I learned loads from the student in terms of what their expectations of an employer are, their expectations of the perfect workplace. And I read recently that um, by 2020, 40% of the workforce will be Generation Y, will be these millennials. And these are our workforce of the future, so take the opportunity to understand them and what you'll need to be doing in the future to, to attract them into your business.